It is one windy son of a gun of a day. We've got a little uh, 16 foot Clipper Cadet couples camper here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is going to come in just high or just shy of the 3,000 pound mark, I believe, just shy of it. And it is simple. It's a just the facts, ma'am kind of camper, but it's in pretty good shape. This is really kind of the definition of a. Uh, just a camper, not an RV, if that makes sense. It's got all the necessary things. We've got a fridge, a stove, a furnace, an air conditioner, a bed, a dinette, etc. But it is, uh, it's not jazzy, flashy, fancy, over the top, which also means that it's not extra heavy or extra expensive. This does what I think all the bare necessities should include. Like, it's got LED lighting. Doesn't have a terrible amount of it, but it has it where it counts. But at the same time, not having too much lighting is also a good way to make sure you're not sapping your battery dry. We do have a side mount air conditioner, which keeps the uh, overall exterior height of the camper a little bit lower. You can see how we have full wraparound overhead ca uh, cabinet space here above the bed area, cross breeze windows across the bed. We do have a Camp Queen right here that is easy lift for storage below. You might notice that little pull handle right there just above that white sticker. And then we have this headboard area over here. This would be very handy for phone chargers and alarm clocks. And you might notice there's power outlets and things nearby, which might be handy for CPAP campers. But what if you're tall, like me, and you don't want a short bed? Ladies and gentlemen, it is very easy to remove a headboard like this and remove the camp queen and install a true queen, uh, an 80-inch long queen for long-legged individuals like myself. Now, the table here... Pardon me, this is a small camper. I'm standing right on top of it. I'm actually going to take a step back into the bathroom. There we go. The table's totally free floating. So, if you want to scoot the table, if you're a bigger, long legged, kind of barrel bellied fellow like myself, or if you want to take it outside, you can. And I do love the location of that power outlet right there, whether it's for phone chargers or a coffee machine or anything like that. You got a nice spot for it. Your TV hookups, should you choose to go TV camping, will be located right over here as well. So you kind of find a little method to hang one up right there, put one up. Now, this is a wood studded sidewall. So there are going to be studs roughly every 16 inches on center um, where you could uh, easily uh, wall mount a small TV. Now there's a couple kitchen lights right under there that I haven't turned on just to give you an idea. Um, your appointments are simple, you know, basic microwave. You do have decent pantry space beside that above that furnace and your converter box with great storage space below the sink. Now one thing I have noticed is this is not the original refrigerator. This is an electric only replacement fridge. I'm going to guess this RV uh, found itself out of warranty and experienced a significant refrigerator failure. And when folks sometimes find the cost of replacing an RV fridge, they go, huh, no thanks. I'll go to Home Depot. I'll get an electric only one for a third of the price. But it doesn't run off propane, so keep that in mind. We are completely carpetless and ventless. So this is easy cleaning. This is kid friendly, pet friendly, etc. Cleaning friendly. Now, with these flat panel cabinet doors, you can't really get a sense of how much storage is here, but when I open all this up, you go, wow, a little camper with some serious big storage. And that is a like shoe garage compartment at the bottom as well. So they gave you a big chunk of storage space here if and where you need it. The bathroom is simple, but simply effective. And I like that it has that easy step in shower pan instead of a travel trailer tub. Foot flush stool, uh, you know, for you know, making, you know, gotta put your face near your business is the best way I can say it. And you do have both a skylight and a, uh, a vent up here. Now I did notice that there is a max air vent cover on that. So if you want to leave that open for some airflow, you can. I do believe the previous owners had a dog. I noticed there's one of those um, anti-scratch guards to protect your screen door on the bottom section of that screen door when I walked outside just now. That being said, I, I'm not I, like I'm not finding pet hair. I'm not finding pet smells or messes or scratches or chewed up stuff or nothing like that anywhere. So they appeared to, you know, keep their critter under control, so to speak. I don't know about you. I'm a pet camper myself. They just that's part of the whole fun. Plus hotels, they want to charge you triple even if they do let you bring a pet. This is only seven foot wide, so it is not wider than your vehicle. It is ideal for smaller tow vehicles. Um, the running gear and the you know the tires, the rims, and everything appear to be in great shape. The decals are in great shape. I have a sneaking suspicion this spent 
most of its time stored inside out of the weather, but I haven't been able to confirm that. That's a theory, not a known fact at this stage. Um, the spare tire looks fantastic. It has apparently never touched the ground. I, I do like the, uh, the longer rain spouts, though. That will help keep some black streaks cut down on this old girl, especially with that nice white skin. Actually, I think it's a slight cream. I, now that I'm looking at it, like if you look at the two side by side, that's not a pure white, but man, it sure looked like it for a minute there. Anyway, Max Air vent cover up top. Oh, quick note. This is not, despite how it looks, this is not a power awning. Usually when you see awning hardware like this, you go, huh, oh neat, power awning. And then I noticed the little pull tab. And then I noticed the lock up here. And then I noticed the travel lock for the arms right here. And all those things are fine. It's a uh, LCI Solera awning. It's just not an LCI power Solera awning. What's cool about LCI awnings, however, is they are pretty much the very first, and to this day, I think they might be the only modular awning system on the market. What that means in English is if you felt like upgrading this to a power awning, there's an above average chance that could be done fairly easily and at an extremely minimal cost as compared to completely replacing an awning. That being said, I'm not a parts specialist. That's simply how it's been explained to me before. I've never personally gone through the process. so. Uh, we will measure twice and cut once if that comes to pass. But short of that, guys, I don't see anything here that scares me. If you're trying to get rid of the old pop-up, if you want to start camping before you go neck deep into a brand new one, this is a great place to start, I think, right here. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.